this number this okay. experiment is experiment number 9 after this we'll start with the 13th paper okay fine ma'am thank you so here also we are doing volumetric titrations okay if you write the apparatus it will be better so please write the apparatus so that you will get to know uh, what exactly we are supposed to do volumetric titrations are happening here okay apparatus it is the requirements what we want requirements for the apparatus as i said you we i will not be conducting afternoon session today uh, i'll be doing that in the next class okay only if some five experiments will be let, let out that will be done in the next class okay so apparatus is required is we require burette because it's a titration we definitely require one burette burette of 50 ml okay in your manual gun if it is written 50 cm it is 50 ml okay and then pipette please mention this in your observation book we require pipette pipette is of 10 ml one pipette we require of 10 ml and one more pipette we require of 20 ml If somebody is not mute, I guess please mute yourself. Then we require conical flask. Conical flask we require is to up to fifty mL. That is two we want, and weighing bottle. Is one. and then standard flask of 100 ml we require two funnel so that we can easily transfer and not spill the solution and we require one burette stand okay so these are the requirements please mention them in your book same procedures we are doing we have to create reagents one reagent is a potassium dichromate and the other reagent is silver solution silver nitrate solution okay potassium dichromate ke2 cr2o7 one reagent we are creating next is we are creating another solution of agno3 so these are the requirements required for this particular experiment to determine the amount of chloride present in the water sam uh, sample let me know if it is done ma'am what is written in the last ma'am it's not clear that is age and ode silver nitrate requirement just see the page number 56 in the manual burette is ten done yes ma'am now we are preparing sodium or sorry potassium dichromate solution okay so reagent potassium dichromate has to be prepared how are we preparing potassium dichromate please take the proper compositions you have to dissolve 5 grams of dichromate salt that is potassium dichromate salt in distilled water so 5 grams of salt and distilled water 
So you'll be dissolving five gram of salt in distilled water. Ma'am. Yes. How much quantity for the distilled water? We keep it as hundred ml only. Okay, because we require an aburent, so we'll keep it as hundred ml only. So five grams of potassium dichromate salt is dissolved in distilled water. To that, we will add silver nitrate solution. So for this particular solution, what you have dissolved, dichromate salt in distilled water, we'll add silver nitrate solution until you will get red color PPT form. Red color PPT form. Until you get red color PPT, we will add silver nitrate solution in the potassium dichromate solution. Or else here, if we take a less amount, because next we'll be taking. Okay, no problem. Next. Allow for 12 hours. You have to allow for 12 hours. After we make the solution of potassium dichromate and silver nitrate, we have to allow for 12 hours. Okay. And then if you want to dilute it, if you have taken less quantity of distilled water here, okay, if you have taken less quantity of distilled water, then you have to dilute it. But since we are taking 100 ml of distilled water, we will not dilute it. Or if we have to dilute with respect to the requirement of our burette, then we will dilute to one, one liter. Okay, depending on the precipitate or the quantity of distilled water. If there is any requirement of dilution, we'll dilute. If the precipitate is very thick, we'll dilute to one liter. Otherwise, not required. If it is fitting into a burette, well and good. So this is how we are creating potassium dichromate solution. Okay, so now we already wrote here AgNO3. AgNO3 is silver nitrate into potassium dichromate. But have we prepared silver nitrate here? No. If they are giving us silver nitrate as a solution, well and good, otherwise we have to prepare. Okay? So for the preparation of silver nitrate, you have to take 2.395 grams of, for the preparation of AgNO3, 2.395 grams of AgNO3 salt. and dissolve in one liter of distilled water. This is your silver nitrate solution. You are only taking water and salt. Quantity of salt is 2.395 grams and you are dissolving in one liter of distilled water. That becomes your AgNO3 solution. This solution is added for potassium dichromate until a red PPT is formed. So these reagents along with those apparatus are required for the experiment. If it is done, shall I move on? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so now starting with the procedure. Please write the procedure. So next Sunday, if you are coming to college, we can perform all these things in one go. Especially practical paper 12. Practical paper 11 is done. Practical paper 12, we have to perform if you are coming to college. Next, now here we are preparing sodium chloride. Preparation of sodium chloride. Here also, you have three parts for the procedure. First part is preparation of stan standard solution of sodium chloride. 
standard solution of sodium chloride. So we'll take a standard flask. Please write in points. Write like how I am telling. Take a standard flask. And take in a standard flask. First you want a standard flask. Then second is you have to weigh 0 0.818 grams of NaCl. Third is dilute it or dissolve it in 100 ml of distilled water. Okay. In one standard flask, in the standard flask one, in standard flask one, you will add sodium chloride solution, sodium chloride salt which is 0 0.181 grams. After weighing 0 0.181 grams, you are adding the so sodium chloride salt in the standard flask and then you will dissolve or dilute the standard flask, sorry, the, the, the particular salt in distilled water of 100 ml. This is your first step of sterilization. Then second step of sterilization is from this particular solution, what you have prepared, you have to remove 10 ml, pipette out 10 ml with the help of 10 ml pipette, you take out this particular standard solution and then put it into flask 2, that is standard flask 2. Okay, transfer the 10 ml of NaCl solution in standard flask 2 and make up the mark, which means you have to add water until, until the mark. Got it? Did you understand this particular procedure? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, fill up to the mark using distilled water. Sorry? You told fill up to the mark yeah, in the yeah, second distilled phase. Water only. Yes, yes. Okay. So first you are taking one standard flask. In that you will add 0 0.18 grams of NaCl and you will dilute it with 100 ml of distilled water. Then from this particular flask, you will pipette it out 10 ml, add to the other flask, and then you are making up the mark. Why is it we are doing so? Is because we have to maintain the molarity of 0 0.014. When we do this, molarity of 0 0.014 will be maintained. So this is standardization of your NaCl. If it is done, shall we move on to the next one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next, sanitization of silver nitrate. Sanitization of silver nitrate solution. Okay, now what we are doing is from the second flask of sodium chloride. Okay, we took 10 ml and then we make up the mark, right? That particular second flask of sodium chloride. From that particular flask, you have to take out from second standard flask. Standard flask 2, I'll write this. You also mentioned the same. From standard flask 2, pipette out 10 ml of NaCl. Pipette out 10 ml of NaCl. In a conical flask, in a conical flask to which add one ml of K2Cr2O7, to which add one ml of K2Cr2O7. Ma'am, in manual it is mentioned O4, ma'am. K2Cr O4. 
potassium di oh this is potassium chromate not di chromate ma'am it is not di chromate yeah, yeah. potassium chromate K2Cr2O4 potassium chromate indicator ma'am it's only cr ma'am not cr2 okay thanks okay. for the correction and this you have to titrate with silver nitrate solution which you have taken in the burette that 1 liter of silver nitrate you had prepared no that you are taking in the burette and this particular solution you are titrating against that so what will be the end point appearance of red color appearance of red color and that red color appearance is nothing but the silver chromate solution okay so this particular step you will be doing three times for concurrent values so you will be taking 10 ml from the flask of nacl add potassium chromate and then right right again silver right right three readings you will get where your initial reading and final reading has to be noted down and then the volume has to be taken that is your titration against silver nitrate that is silver nitrate solution versus sodium chloride okay then so, titration of silver nitrate solution with water sample ma'am what is the indicator ma'am potassium chromate is the indicator k2cro4 ma'am what will be in the burette ma'am i didn't understand that in the burette what will be the burette you will be having silver nitrate solution which you prepared 1 liter you prepared no oh okay okay in burette you will be having silver nitrate solution in conical flask you will be having 10 ml of nacl For that one ml of the potassium chromate, you will add as an indicator, and you will tie uh, you will uh, titrate against the Na uh, AgNO3 until you get red color. The appearance of red color is the end point, and red color is silver chromate salt. Okay, so if you the moment you see red color, stop your burette and note down the reading. This is the initial reading and final reading. Likewise, you will be doing three trials, and then you will go for a concordant value. same way you will be titrating silver nitrate with water sample okay so you have to pipette out water sample water sample can be any water sample given by the lab it can be your tap water also so you will take 50 ml of water sample for that you will add 1 ml of potassium chromate 50 ml of water sample and 1 ml of potassium chromate then you will titrate this again against agno3 okay and the end point here is also red color until you get red color so same three trials will be done for this and then you will again be repeating the experiment for blank blank and blank you are using distilled water so this is water sample and here you are taking one blank of 50 ml of distilled water and then for this also you will take one ml of k 
टू सी आर ओ फोर and then you will titrate against your silver nitrate three trials should be done go for the concordant values बॉटल You have to weigh the weighing bottle first. That will be your M1 against silver nitrate only. You are titrating distilled water at K2CrO4, and against silver nitrate only you are titrating. Ma'am, will it turn red in distilled water? Will it turn? Yeah. Not the red line, you know, uh, but the concentration here will be less. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, in so, this also, in the conical flask, are we adding one or ten ml NaCl? No, no right. No, we are not adding. Flask. It's only distilled yeah. water you are adding. Since the distilled yeah. water is deionized water, the concentration or requirement of AgNO3 will be less. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and see the coloration also depends. First one will be dark red color because you have NaCl and AgNO3 there. And here the coloration will be. See the moment you see appearance of color, you have to stop your viewing. Okay. Hmm. Now coming to calculations and observation. First, you have to weigh your weighing bottle. That will be your M1. then weighing bottle with sodium chloride before transferring sodium chloride like how we did yesterday before transferring sodium chloride you have to weigh your sodium chloride and weighing bottle then after transferring sodium chloride you have to again weigh the bottle that will be your m1 m2 and m3 empty weighing bottle is m1 empty weighing bottle with sodium chloride is m2 weighing bottle with sodium chloride is m3 then you have to calculate the mass of sodium chloride transferred ma'am ma m2 and m3 can you repeat please m2 is mass of weighing bottle and sodium chloride that is together you are checking the mass then m3 is mass of sodium chloride sorry a mass of weighing bottle with sodium chloride that is after transferring it will be same no ma'am it will be same transferring you have to check you know here and there because of air some particles of sodium chloride are removed you know all these things matters error occur okay even okay. a small small particle is also very much important here in salts ma'am excuse me ma'am yes. m2 is with sodium nitrate only right sodium chloride right and third one m3 also with weighing bottle with sodium chloride yeah yeah okay ma'am thank you so m1 is mass of weighing bottle no yeah yeah then mass of sodium chloride transferred you have to do m2 minus m3 that will give you m
so there is a formula for you to calculate the molarity of sodium chloride solution in your observation book you have to only put m there and then calculate and then molarity of sodium chloride solution after dilution That is m one by ten. Ma'am, can you repeat, ma'am? Molarity you have to calculate of sodium chloride. Formulas are there. You have to only add their m and then calculate the formula. That will give you your m one. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For M one, you are calculating M. Then you have molarity given that is fifty eight point four five, and then multiplied by thousand divided by hundred. This is your M one. Okay. That you have to calculate. Now you have to calculate M two. How will you calculate M two? Whatever M one you have got. That you divide by ten after ten dilutions, that will be your M two. This is about your observation. What you are doing with the glassware and the material. All right, then calculations. If you have a manual guide, you can turn your page there only. Otherwise, your observations are okay. Standardization of silver nitrate solution. How much volume of sodium chloride you took? Ten mL. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Ten mL of sodium chloride you have taken. Molarity of sodium chloride. Molarity of sodium chloride is M two. What you calculated here? that you have to note down there and volume of silver nitrate solution how much of silver nitrate solution you are taking we are taking 50 cm that is 50 ml of burette that will be your v2 go for molarity of silver nitrate calculations Then this determination of chloride part B. How much of volume of silver nitrate you have used for water sample? That is your V three. And volume of silver nitrate used for blank is your V four. What concurrent values you will get? You have to take those values there. V three and V four for water sample and distilled water. And what is V three, ma'am? V three. How much of silver nitrate you have used for water sample? You do three trials, no? And then you will get a concurrent values. Take that value there. Okay. Same way is for V four also. How much of silver nitrate you used for blank? Three trials you did. Take the concordant value. Concordant value. This is with the distilled water, right? No. That is distilled water. That is V four. And then your water sample, how much we took? Fifty mL of water sample, both distilled water and uh, water sample. We took fifty mL. That will be a constant reading for us. Then go with the formula. All right. So here, this is your ninth experiment, which is a performing experiment from your practical number twelve.
so i told you what are the uh, practical experiments for your practical number 12 coming from 1 to 10 experiment 3 experiment 6 and experiment 10 are the demo experiments whereas the remaining experiments are all performing experiments since they are all volumetric iterations okay now i am coming in front of you so with this your experiment number practical 12 is done but we have to do all the uh, what you say performing experiments if you come to lab we'll perform the experiments next sunday one full day till 5 o'clock we'll stay and we'll perform okay ma'am 9 to 3 on sunday 9 to 3 depends on how much uh, time it takes ma'am we will have exam of 11 also exam is not the next week when it is ma'am that's what you people didn't tell only no like some of one student uh, called me yesterday and said that she's got some counseling so don't keep it on 21st and then one student said 21st is fine for us don't keep it on 27th so you should tell when are we supposed to keep it to tell then we'll keep Because we should go. Because one or two people uh, interfering, we are not able to perform the exam, ma'am. Can you give that excuses, people, uh, some other lot, and uh, you can perform for uh, the whole bunch on uh, uh, next week, ma'am? We can next finish week, it off. Twenty twenty first. Both any dates, sir. I actually those who are getting coordinated. Yeah, Hema Malini, ma'am. No, no, not not the director. She's director, coordinator, the one of uh, our college. Okay, Mr. She said Mr. she will talk and she will let you. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. All right. Shall we start with the experiment uh, practical number thirteen? Th yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So these are all preparations. This is microbiology. I don't know if you have done this in any of your degree courses. Microbiology will be as a, a subject in degree. Okay, like uh, here in uh, Karnataka or here in Bangalore, we take three different subjects for degree as a combination, and one combination will be microbiology. Likewise, uh, but I don't know about the other places. Will microbiology uh, uh, is microbiology there? but microbiology is a very interesting subject where you will be dealing with microorganisms now here what are we exactly doing is we are culturing those microorganisms in our laboratory okay we'll try and get some microorganisms some airborne microorganisms some waterborne microorganisms and then if we we'll, we'll get one plate of it and from that one plate we'll start to culture it for many plates subcultures we tell okay from one plate of microorganism because requirement is more there are companies who are culturing and who will be selling those microbes to various colleges okay institutions because they have to perform experiments and these microbes have their own um, what do you say uh, uh, importance in the uh, environment microorganisms on what there is you know as when we come to when we come with respect to microorganism the first thing that comes to our mind is only diseases and we tell they are uh, what do you say harmful for uh, the living organisms in the environment but microorganisms are friend and foe they say that is they are friendly to the organisms as well as they are harmful which means they have a good effect on the environment they have a bad effect on the environment without microorganisms you cannot have uh, curd but with uh, then the, if we have microorganisms we have microorganisms and diseases so there are advantages and disadvantages of microorganism whatever is we will have to culture these organisms in our laboratory so different various varieties of micro uh, organisms are cultured in you know micro labs if you go to any of the college and then see 
the micro department you will only be you will be seeing refrigerators present we will not be having so many refrigerators in the house but that particular labs will be having so many refri refrigerators and those refrigerators will be filled with microbes okay microbes in the sense plates plates will be filled now what are these plates plates are petri plates okay you must have seen petri plates all of you know what exactly is petri plate so we'll be culturing microbes in those petri plates okay how are we culturing see for growth of any living organism we require nutrients for our growth also we require nutrients if there are no nutrients or there is a no nutrition food given to us we living organisms will also not grow we'll undergo will become malnutrition okay so for every individual be it a plant or an animal be it a autotroph or a heterotroph we require nutrients for our growth and development and growth and development is not only internal growth and development it is also external external only nay internal we it's it's both okay so growth for growth and development of every living organism on in this on this earth we require nutrients nutritious food has to be performed hence forth okay here media plates are made okay media plates means what do you know what exactly are media plates have you heard this term media before ma'am yes, they ma they add some solutions like fructose sugar okay so uh, most of you have not heard well and no problem media plates means we are preparing media using agar agar and lactose okay agar agar is called, also called as beef extract it is a powder powders from white color powder form present in the laboratory so we will take in some calls so of compositions will be given to you you have to create make media plates now we will be making chocolate agar we will be making mekongki agar we will be making blood agar we will be making lactose normal agar so many varieties of agar agar uh, of media plates will be play, uh, prepared okay for the preparation of media plates we require agar agar and we also require lactose lactose is the must with that we have other solutions depending on what type of agar you are making or what type of media you are preparing so once when you prepare media okay i'll give you a normal everyday example you must have seen this china grass may prepared in the house faluda they make in the house yes ma'am okay so how the jelly kind of substance come when you are making in it in a vessel it gets solidified and it becomes a jelly likewise when you are making media in the conical flask it will be like a liquid if you are keep, keeping that conical flask only for the experiment or if you are taking it in the test tube or you are taking it in a petri plate you have to pour okay for example i'll take in my petri plate okay this is my petri plate present here this is my petri plate and i am put pouring my media whatever i have prepared which is in liquid form and then i'll keep it for solidification i will not touch that after some time it will immediately get solidified once it is cold it starts to cool up it becomes solidified after some time when i touch it becomes like a jelly okay so we are not supposed to touch her. the first important uh, thing we micro students or microbiology people put in their heads is they should always be sterilized okay now what is this sterilized now you see students my hands are clean your hands are clean so all of you as you you know we have taken a bath today morning we took a breakfast before coming to class we cleaned us so we washed our hands and all our hands are clean now if you can see my hands they are all clean but i have touched this board i have touched the duster i have touched my back cover so many other things to so definitely though my hands look clean they still have microbes my hands have microorganisms my palms have microorganisms okay microorganisms are everywhere in the atmosphere it they, it doesn't take much time to to go and you know uh, you know uh, occupy space wherever it wants microorganisms are in n number there are airborne microorganisms if i keep my plate open for some time here only and then close and then incubate i'll have some colonies in my plate so first thing what they take is we have to be very much hygienic all of us okay we have to be very much what do you say uh, uh sterilized so they clean their hands with uh, ethanol 
alcohol, ethanol, they clean their hands with ethanol. They autoclave their apparatus, whatever conical flask they are using, they autoclave it. What is autoclave? Autoclave is an, uh, you know, it is an instrument present in the lab. Okay, we heat it, we warm it. We put all the apparatus, whatever we require into the, uh, into the uh, autoclave. I'm using Petri plates for my experiment. I'm using conical flask for my experiment. I'm using loop for my experiment. I am using some test tube for whatever in, uh, glass phase I am using for this particular experiment. All has to be sterilized. All has to be sterilized means you are sending everything. You will pack everything. You will pack them in papers and will put them in autoclave for sterilization. Okay. Some laboratories, if they are not using uh, no hot, uh, autoclave, they also use pressure cookers. Okay. They they give like you know it is given as a steam for it. So it, the steam is given and the pressure is created. The two or four vessels, they will be taking it out. And then it is all, until it is cooled, you will not touch. And once, once it is cooled, you will only take. Before taking, you are sterilizing yourself. Okay, they wear masks. They wear, they wash their hands with alcohol. All complete aseptic condition is created. Every little thing, what they are using is all sterilized. And then you are culturing the organism. Now, what is the need to do so is because when we are culturing one particular organism, and if I don't sterilize those organisms and culture, definitely I will be having some other organisms which I don't want. If my plate is a multi-plate, if my plate is a multi-organism plate, I want some, some more organisms, many organisms in my uh, plate, then it's fine. However you want, you, you, you know, you can culture it. There'll, there'll be a fungi, there'll be a, a, a you know, a mucor will also be there, different fungi will also be there, different bacteria will be there. So many organisms will be there in your plate. So it will be completely a dark plate which filled with organisms. I only want one organism. For example, I want Aspergillus niger, which is a fungi. Now Aspergillus niger only should be there in my plate. I don't want any other plate, which means I have to be very careful with my hygiene. I have to sterilize myself and the apparatus, whatever I am using. Whatever apparatus I am using, I have to, uh, you know, sterilize and I have to keep. Clear? So that I, I will be only uh, uh, culturing that organism which I want. All right. So this sterilization is very important. Now, for all these things, the basic after the, the first is your basic. You have to be very clean and very hygienic. Second is you have to prepare media. And then only we are culturing. Now, how are, how, you know, you have different methods of culturing. How and why, when you are cultured, that comes the last. The second is you have to prepare media. To prepare media, you should have concentrations and the particular method of preparing media. So the first uh, practical or the first experiment of your practical number 13 is preparation of media. Clear? All right. All right, so please make a note of it. It is sterilization. First experiment is sterilization, media preparation, and isolation of pure culture. So in the, I'm repeating the experiment number name. Experiment number, uh, sorry, experiment number is one and name of the experiment is Sterilization, media preparation, and isolation of pure culture. So in the introduction only, they have told you aseptic conditions sterilized technique is very, very important. Okay, introduction, I told you how and why it is required. Okay. All right, now, what are the apparatus required? Now, let us keep in mind, we are, apart from sterilization, we are culturing, uh, sorry, preparing the media. We are also inoculating the organism. What is the meaning of inoculation? 
inoculation means you are inoculating from one petri plate i am taking the organism and i am inoculating into a new petri plate a new fresh media that is called in transferring adding okay uh, that is called inserting it is called as inoculating in micro department in micro language we call it as inoculate so with the help of loop what we do is we take the organism on from one plate and we streak it out or streaking is have you uh, no since you are all on micro students okay streaking means this is a plate and i will streak in whatever manner i want i want in zigzag manner okay that is one organism in the center of my plate or in one plate only i want four different organisms means i'll take one plate okay i'll draw and i'll show you i'll streaking what now coming to streaking this term streaking okay you will hear this term until you will finish your practical 13 probably or if you are a micro student until your post graduation this term is always there in our life streaking okay so for example this is my plate this is my plate 1 this is my plate 2 and this is my plate 3 okay three different plates can you all see yes ma'am okay so three different petri plates i have and i have to streak streak means i'll be having one loop i'm drawing one loop also for you you must have not uh collation loop ma'am inoculation loop if you have seen in well and if you don't know actually i had somewhere in my house but i cannot see it so one loop will be there okay with the help of loop we streak it so how are we streaking i want one one only one organism i want in my plate i don't want streaking i'll only inoculate well and good but with streaking i want in a zigzag manner okay i'll streak like this one organism i want or i want two organisms depending on however i am streaking which particular corner i want i want four organisms i'll streak four organisms here okay these are four different organisms so i'll take four organisms or in Mind. center one organism ah these streakings will help the organisms to grow in that particular fashion yes very good who said this prashanti ma'am uh good prashanti so if i have taken one uh, i have taken uh, i mean my loop i have taken aspergillus niger and this is the way of my streaking it will grow there only will not come out i have taken a rhizobium and i have streaked here it will grow there only and when they grow you know the colonies are in different color the plates look very beautiful beautiful plates for any microbiology student if the plate looks beautiful clean and neat with very with variety of organism that is success for her they they feel so happy have you all is anybody work with micro department ma'am in my college that time which college you are from ma'am it is in andhra pradesh at the sai institute of higher learning yes ma'am i did microbiology ma'am ma'am i did microbiology from bangalore college it was one of my subjects in your degree in your in your under graduation yes ma'am okay then amrutawa yes ma'am bms college for women ma'am you are in bangalore yes ma'am okay what what was your combination uh chemistry zoology and microbiology ma'am oh, okay okay good yeah, anybody else I'm... only I worked as research scientist, ma'am, for one oh, year. Nice. Anybody Better... else? Oh, so when if if we are preparing any plates, then these three students will help other students in speaking. Somebody who is very new, okay, who don't know anything, not to worry, you will enjoy this. Even I am a microbiologist, so very proudly we say we are microbiologists. So it's a very beautiful subject, okay. when we look for us our plates are very important when we look onto our plates the way we stand and look that posture of holding that also matters okay so yeah when you come to college and if you are preparing lab uh, sorry if you are preparing plates you will really enjoy with your organisms you will tell this is also there and we did not know okay we only saw this uh, the what do you say uh, the 6 feet uh, human organisms 5 feet human organisms and all 
we did not know about so those small microbes which were actually seen under microscope and you are culturing them and you are you know uh, uh, increasing their population by tissue culturing tissue culture okay anyways what are the requirements what are the instruments here one is called as laminar airflow so micro students they very well know what exactly is laminar airflow are the students who don't know what is laminar airflow in short we call it as laf please make a note of it who don't know okay laminar airflow in short is called as laf it is a very huge apparatus now what is the need or what is the function of this apparatus is for sterilization purpose only the main purpose is sterilization all right here what happens is in laminar airflow we'll keep our plates also for sterilization and we sit there for culturing the so why is that we are sitting there for culturing is because there no activity of any organism will take place okay any anybody can question me like raghavendra can question me how come you tell there is no activity of microorganism taking place just now you told microorganisms are everywhere and then you are telling there is no activity okay why is this because there in laminar airflow we'll be having uv light so we will go there we will first clean the airflow with our alcohol and some cotton buds we take we clean the airflow completely with alcohol we sterilize it and then we'll switch on the uv light and will come out for some time okay we'll switch on and will come out the uv light after some time we go we switch off uv light and we will on the blower so that all those radiations are just gone so that when the person is sitting there for any working process they are not affected because uv light is also very harmful all right so we will on the blower and then that is why air flow air is air is the blower what we are uh, oning okay laminar air flow is that particular huge apparatus where individual goes sit there to culture the organism so the very important apparatus required in culturing is laminar air all right is the doubt clear or do you get any information about it no ma'am just now i said no man no it's not clear it's cleared ma'am mm. so laminar air flow means it is a apparatus where we are no yes sir somebody stop ma'am huge means what is what will be the size ma'am a room or a... it will not be a room sir uh, you know it will take the size of you know these ice cream coolers will be there that size that occupying space okay it yes, is very right. huge you will sit inside in the sense uh, when you see it it will almost take half of your uh, if your lab is very big then well and good if the lab is small like whatever lab we have in our igno lab what we are using there probably uh, you know it will take one desk place only one table place only it take that is the uh, uh, size and we usually place it in corner so that it log we have to go there and sit there and then you have to do we sit there and do is because a uh, person who is sitting sitting in law sitting inside it okay sitting means stool will be placed and then on the stool they will sit and the hands will be inside that is sitting ma'am uh, i can correlate this with the corona virus how the two holes are made and inside that one box kind of a thing you can imagine like an aquarium kind of a thing where the uv rays are there that kind of yeah, a lan has been where yeah. the two hands will be put and they'll be processing inside in a closed uh, box kind of a thing see the, there it was only just your hands if i yeah. have to go and take something also i can just you know when the when you see the uh, apparatus it is it is very easy to and uh, huge in the sense it will be like you know one box kind of thing on about it will be a covered and then you are sitting and performing like it's i i i don't know i can i am not able to explain properly i'll i'll share the picture if i have all right so laminar air flow that is one of the important important apparatus required in microbiology then we have incubators okay incubators are there hot air ovens are there these are important please make a note of this these are important apparatus if these are not there it is not a micro lab okay so we want hot air oven hot air oven you have seen in a lab only which is not functioning properly so we have to rectify the problem there 
so hot air ovens are there that that is the size of hot air oven incubator will also be of that same size only if incubator is not used hot air hot air oven is only fine okay either of this autoclave is very important now how will this autoclave be you know now we don't have these water drums have you seen those water drums steel water drums which were there in every house probably 15 years before or 20 years before water drums the stainless steel one yes no yes yeah stainless steel water drums okay that kind of water drum will be there in the lab and for that we'll be having on the side we'll be having a a cylindrical shaped plastic tube into which there'll be some amount of water and it will be having a wire when you're fixing or these heaters okay uh, heaters which were there in the in probably in every house 10 15 years before before geysers what heaters we had boilers oh, okay stainless steel heaters you imagine and with that one water tube in this side when you are switching out that water tube sorry the water present in that uh, 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 the, the 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 cylindrical structure will boil and the steam is released inside and then all your apparatus will be autoclave so that is the imagination for autoclave you better take about the stainless heaters which were there before okay uh, so and some colleges also use microwave oven why is because if the media is solidified and you want it to dilute it or dissolve it or bring it to the liquid form okay then again we just keep it in the uh, oven and then for some time and then if we remove the solidified media will be uh, into a what do you say liquid form like i i don't want my media to be in my conical flask i want to transfer them into plate now but in conical flask only my media is solidified so i don't have to use one hot air oven or something which is very huge so what i do is i just put it in the microwave and for some for some time i uh, uh, you know use it and then if i take it out media is liquefied now and then i can transfer in whatever plate and how many ever plates i want so some colleges use oven also all right so oven is important hot air oven is there and then incubators are there then uh, you know uh, air, laminar air flow is there and then you have autoclave these are some of the very very important apparatus or instruments which every micro lab should have so or every micro student or whoever culturing has to be in this kind of lab otherwise you cannot culture your organs all right have you taken down these yes ma'am yes oh. then apart from this for culturing the very very important you have looked at you the very very important uh, instrument is loop okay loop something which i have drawn here on the board like this that elongated structure that is loop okay that is that is very important for loop okay get me laminar air flow picture Okay, so the, loop is, huh? the loop is the loop is not a force. No, no, not a force. Loop is not a force. Loop is different from I. I we actually had loops and all. Uh, since my sister is uh, doing research work, she's taken everything from the house. We don't have here right now. Okay. All right. So a loop is a loop is very important because you are transferring, you are inoculating organisms. So for the inoculation process, loop is very important. You cannot use anything else with a, uh, apart from loop. So loop is also a, one of the important important part of every micro department. All right, and then so after these apparatus, what you are using, your glass vials are must and should. So every micro student will be holding. Everyone wants petri plates with them. Okay. so if you can see this will be the structure of loop this is how loop is done oh uh, laminar autoclave okay now for media preparation coming to media preparation how media has to be prepared for media pre preparation one important thing is distilled water 
without distilled water sir you wanted laminar air flow it is like this laminar air flow will be like this okay ma'am okay so here we will sit inside is sit inside means we will be outside only our hand and head will be inside okay we will not go inside we we will be sitting on stool only the hand and head will go and we'll be walking inside so that is that is what i mentioned you are sitting inside and okay and then i want uh, auto key okay so for uh, for media preparations we want distilled water distilled water is must and should be without distilled water we cannot do this is uh, autoclave sir this is how autoclave is so incubator and uh, hot air oven they look same what we have in our lab they are like that only all right so these are some of the important apparatus now coming to media preparation apart from those apparatus the very very important basic ingredient for a media i can say is distilled water without distilled water there is no media preparation okay so distilled water uh, is very important so first thing for me media reagents distilled water please write distilled water then we want agar 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 beef extract we call it as okay agar that is also very important it will be in a powderous form and you know we require these petri plates depending on how many cultures you are making subculturing how many uh, plates you require uh, with respect to the uh, number of that uh, uh, organism culture you will have to have plates and then test tubes also they will culture in test tubes also okay test tubes are required plates are required and then you want uh, measuring jars measuring cylinders are required conical flask is required so all these glass vases are required okay a conical flask beaker measuring cylinders all these if you are taking in one or two number petri plates and test tubes should be with respect to the requirement how many ever you want now in your practical manual they have mentioned one word as a media the other word as broth okay use the door media in media we will add agar so the when it is solidifying we will have jelly like substance but in broth we will not add that why is because we don't want in broth is all liquid we don't want any jelly like substance okay we only want liquid uh, media means it is a broth all right so broth we will not have the jelly kind of solidification it will be liquid only forever media means we will uh, we'll be having an uh, solidified uh, base so those two different uh, terminologies are there media and broth broth is al always done in test tubes for broth we will be having bigger test tubes not small test tubes what you use for titrations and all or any biochemical test we'll have bigger test tubes for broth preparation after we prepare broth in conical flask we'll transfer those test tubes in uh, sorry we'll transfer the broth into test tubes okay whereas for uh, petri plates we'll be using media that is a solidified media so all these are the requirement apart from all these the major things which you really need for subculturing is your organisms whatever the organism are it can be an e coli it can be a rhizobium it can be a fungi okay depending on whatever the organisms are if you want two organisms you want 10 organisms to be subcultured so how many ever organisms you want you should have one main plate of it without main plate of it you cannot culture them culturing means you are only growing the number of plates subculturing okay from one plate you are creating 20 plates that is subculturing but that one plate is also required for that one plate you have to have the organism so now i don't have the organism so what will i do i will make my organism if i want rhizobium to be present in my plate or if i have to start my main plate with rhizobium i have to go for those root nodules of leguminous plants where rhizobium is present 
ऑर्गेनिजमेंटेंसी If the organism is there, take the colony and then mount the plate. If organism is there, if you get red color rods, or that is bacillus, okay, red color rods, then the organism is there. If it is uh, sorry, not bacillus, rhizobium, red color rods by not bacillus, okay, uh, red color rods. If you see, then organism is there, rod shape organism it is. If it is not there, you have to again culture. or if you cannot culture you are not getting any root nodules you are not getting from the uh, pea plant of a ground groundnut plant not pea plant groundnut plant and then uh, you know from uh, these a uh, uh, methi they tell fenugreek greek leaves from there also you will from the roots of uh, methi uh, uh, also you will get uh, root uh, sorry uh, rhizobium there also we'll see okay so if you are not getting rhizobium then you have to buy one plate okay from and buying plate is not a uh, uh, very easy it costs too much for one plate uh, so for what then after that keep that plate safe in your lab and then you can make hundreds of plate with that particular plate so organism is very much required whatever organism you have to culture that organism should be there in your lab all right so how is the procedure same procedure what i just told you randomly that you are keeping your plate and autoclaving sterilizing it then shifting your plate to laminar airflow so that there is no activity of any microorganism and then you will prepare your media with respect to all the chemicals and the uh, you know requirements you are using with the same composition and you will create your media and then you will transfer your media keep there for solidification get the organisms of uh, uh, plate take a streak of no i'm sorry with the help of a loop take one colony and start putting or inoculating into your new plate that is what we are doing for that after you inoculate you will keep the plate in incubators okay for incubators means we are usually placing for 48 hours for depending it can increase the time also but we for probably most of the organisms we keep it for 48 hours after 48 hours if i open my plate and see this is how my plate will be looking this one you can see here and those are the colonies okay that is how my petri plate will be looking and those are the colonies colonies means my organism has grown my organism has increases population you only inoculated one colony or one organism into it and then you have got one plate full of organism which means your plate is subculture cultured and your plate should look clean no activity of any other organism should be there mucus come if you are not clean okay if you are not maintaining that cleanliness while you are culturing the organism fungal attack will definitely happen so you have to avoid all these things so that you get only that organism which you have desired of clear so here this is how performing is did you understand this yes madam yes ma'am okay but if you think it is looking very it, 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 it seems to be very boring it's only a theory thing i tell you when you stand with your gloves and your mask in the laboratory you will enjoy culturing the organisms one or two labs you will uh, face it a little difficulty to do it because it's new for you but once when you learn you will enjoy this is one of the best applied sciences i tell you okay uh, in applied sciences there are many more applied sciences but microbiology is one of the best and beautiful science we we even tell it as colorful science because usually they tell chemistry is colorful okay 
microbiology is also colorful because when you see the plates, you know, you will see different colors of colonies there. So many colonies and colors are there in the colonies. Whatever shape you want, you don't go for a culturing of organism. You create a media and then only keep your palm on it. Give a hand impression, cover your plate, put it for incubator. Okay. After 48 hours, you come and see what all organisms are there in your hand is present in your plate. So you can take out them, mount the slide and see which all organisms were there in your hands. Is it not a very beautiful study? Yeah. Okay, you will enjoy this. You know, we take hand impressions. Uh, we do streakings. Yeah. When you see the streaks, ah, yes, Prashant. If you have cold or anything, no, your breathing also can affect the... Uh, yeah, that is, why, that is why we wear masks and we sit there. Okay, uh, when we are just, we are pro in creating cultures and, you know, uh, preparing medias, we will take our swabs also and see. Like just now she mentioned, mentioned cold, she mentioned that it'll, it might cause problem to your media. But you can take your swab, dilute it and then put it on the media and say what particular uh, infection has happened, which organism has infected to you. Okay, that also can be done. This, this is how lab technicians work. They take swabs, they take stools, okay? <clears throat> All these culturing is done. When we, we usually these PG students of microbes, they'll be doing so many cultures. So that culturing is also there. We eat so much from canteen. Okay, I remember when I did the culturing of plates, we, we had this uh, uh, food and agriculture paper <clears throat> just an experience I'm sharing with you so that, that you know, you will get to know how it, it happens. So when we were having this food and agriculture paper, we I had uh, the uh, work to be done is I have to uh, extract the organism from root nodules of methi, methi leaves, that is from Menthia Sapu, we tell in Karnataka. Okay, Menthia Sapu, Menthia Sapu only, I guess. Methi, fenugreek. So from that uh, roots, I had to inoculate the or remove the organism, extract and then inoculate. That is rhizobium only, which I did so that I remember very well. And then one more was I was supposed to check well, how was the how good is the chutney of the canteen where I was studying. Okay, so the the canteen where I was studying and the college where I was studying, there were so many other government buildings there, <coughs> government offices. So all those government officials used to come for lunch to our canteen, our college canteen and have their lunch and go. So uh, since, so, and everybody used to demand for chutney only there. Whatever food he's preparing, they wanted chutney. So uh, they told you take one uh, food, whatever the food you want, go to any canteen or any place, any hospital, any hospital canteen and see how the food is. <laughs> is the food good or bad? So since we had food and agriculture, uh, I took rhizobium from the methi uh, leaves. One, one was from, from that is for agriculture part. For the food part, I had taken chutney from our canteen and there was a hospital next to our college and the hospital's canteen also. If you know and if you are getting the idea which college it is and which canteen it is, see to it you don't visit there next time. All right. Or if you go also don't eat food there in those canteens. So uh, we went, I went there and I collected one, uh, bot one uh, you know, uh, how much of chutney I took is uh, small bottles we get, plastic bottles, toothpick bottles we get, if you know those. Yes, okay. So that filled, that, that those two bottles I had taken to do both the canteen, <laughs> one is my college canteen and the other is the hospital canteen and I've got chutney only. I diluted the chutney and I poured it on my plate and I kept off for incubation so the next after 48 hours when we saw there were n number of colonies in the chutney of my uh, college canteen there were colonies of the hospital canteen also but too many colonies means too many organisms were there in the mm -hmm. chutney which i bought from my canteen so how did i know this because we'll be uh, naming naming the plates this is from the chutney of college this is from the chutney of uh, hospital this is from the uh, uh, no fenugreek leaves. So we'll name the plates. Where we name the plates. My name will be written because I am doing that uh, culturing. My name will be written from where I am doing. All those details will be there on my plate. So we'll be always having markers in our hands. Okay. 
and then after subculturing when i removed those canteens and i saw n number of colonies were there on my chutney kya not only chutney somebody went and she took coffee and tea from the canteen and she did that same thing she did with coffee and tea and she stole too many are there in tea not in coffee but in tea so this is how the hygiene is maintained in colleges and in you know uh, canteens of other places so just an information to you all see to it you don't go and eat anything from canteens of uh, you know especially government i'm sorry to say but especially government places or if you are going go for a good hotel or else don't go pack your pack your lunch from the house and go so man so this is how which at least this that was sorry mint chutney <laughs> The chutney name of the chutney. Name of the chutney. What the Kannada guys? We eat chutneys in the dosa and idli. The chutney it was. Kubri chutney. Probably I don't know. Grounded chutney only. Okay, uh, the green color okay. chutney what we eat in dosa and idli is here. We the Kannada guys eat so that chutney. Well, the hygiene is very. And then the the moment we showed it to our lecturer, she was like, "That is why I always feel some pain in my throat." She said. that was just to create a humor she told that but you know we we see organisms many times you had earlier food from there no no i wasn't eating i used to pack my mother used to pack lunch for me i wasn't taking it that was Lucky. just for an experiment time Lucky. i wasn't eating so i i have a habit of carrying my lunch all right so since you know uh we were supposed to do some experiments today but it did not happen probably it's already 11 o'clock it's going to be 11 from 9:30 we started so you uh, that is how we are making the sterilization the sterilization process i think so a clear idea is given to you what exactly sterilization how media is prepared and how you are isolating media and inoculating the organism clear that is your first experiment write the experiment from this also i'll be doing only 10 experiments we'll not go for 20 experiments all right write the experiments first in experiments and keep in your record here no calculations are there nothing is there next is of gram staining we'll see how gram negative and gram positive they are in our next class that is next saturday i'll do the class probably next saturday we'll finish the classes for this particular uh, you know uh, paper will be done next saturday will be a little quick there all right so today mm -hmm. afternoon session i am not taking class you can take a break right now meet you next saturday in the same ma'am can you put over to hema malini madam to give that uh, yesterday's uh, recorded video i requested yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, i'll tell my coordinator she'll forward it yeah please sir, because that video it comes it will be really helpful yesterday lot of disturbance sorry i didn't get you lot of things we have not noted down there was a uh, technical glitch and once we are out it was not allowing to log into the class and things like that okay okay so you wanted the you want the recorded video i record it yeah thank you ma'am and the experiments were just writing uh, 13 for 13 also you should have different record 11 different record 12 different record 13 and also different So first ten experiments are needed to be written. So write first ten experiments. All are very easy experiments. Counting of slides and then seeing like negative, positive, and how culturing the organisms and all. That's all. Very easy. This is. If you, you initially you will find it very difficult, but once when you have a good hand on it, when you get the hands-on experiment experience on it, you will be a pro in that. You will enjoy this one. So it will be easy. Ma'am, uh, why we culture that organism? Why, uh, like, why we make colonies? What's the uh... why you want colonies and why are you culturing the organism? Is because one is for the research press. What is the need for to do this? Okay. One second. see why is that we are culturing what is the need to culture first is to study about the organism you know you have to study the morphological characters basic need is you have to know the organism 
Now, why should I know about the organism in future if I become, if I enter into a paramedical course and if I become a my pathologist or I'm considered to be as a microbiologist, I get a chance to work in hospital and all. Then I should know what organism it is, why it is, and all that. And if the organism is there, if there is a new organism, you will be the discoverer of new organism. Okay. So to know about the organism, what disease it causes, how it is affecting, it is harmful, it is useful. For all these details, you have to know about it. And only from with, with one plate of organism, you cannot read all these things. Okay, you cannot read anything from one plate. You should at least have one maximum number of plates so that testing is done. In science, whatever uh, uh, field you go, errors definitely will happen. Okay, errors will definitely occur. So when you are performing experiment there, when you are testing something, errors occur. Now, I require organism for amplification. Amplification is what I have to amplify. You have to increase the copies of it for the DNA, what DNA it is, how RNA it is, how is the, how is the RNA of the particular bacteria, who is there, how, what is there, which particulars it is undergoing conjugation, syngamy. So all these details we have to know about the organism, how it is multiplying, what mode of multiplication it is taking. Okay, so, so many things are there to study about the organism. When they said coronavirus had come, they gave you one image and they said, this is the virus. All those people who did not know about the organism only saw the images. And one, I, according to me, it was a you know, useless thing which I saw on Instagram also. They used to make pakoras in that shape and eat. That was something very nuisance which I, I, uh, I felt. It was not required to do. All. No, they did so many other uh, useless things. Some who usually non-science people do all these things. When you know about the organism, you tend to, you, you feel to know more, many more things about it. How it is affecting, when it is entering your body, how it is multiplying, how fast it is multiplying. You have to go in depth, like how you come in contact with a person. When you have a conversation, when you know a person, when you start your conversation, you speak so many things as in how you are speaking and speaking and speaking, you will get to know some amount of the organism, how the organism, how the individual is. So like that, when you are testing the organism, you will know many more things about the organism and testing cannot happen in only one plate. So many of plates will be wasted by you only. How are you wasting? When you are opening the plate to remove the organism, no? How you are removing the organism, you are sending one more organism inside. Because you are not maintaining aseptic condition. You should be very, very, very focused in the, uh, especially in micro department, you have to be very focused with the, uh, uh, you know, organisms. You have to be in those conditions only and remove the organism, be in those conditions only and inoculate the organism. Okay, so we'll be studying about the enzymes, what enzyme the organism is secreting. Like trichoderma was one of my research work in trichoderma secretes or releases chitinase enzyme. What is the use for chitinase enzyme? So all these things are very, very important to know. So to know the organism, you have to culture the plate because without without culturing, with, with, with only one plate, you cannot do anything. That is the need for it. Thank and you. also, ma'am, I would like to add, for example, if we are having some uh, issues with our health, they will check the urine culture they will do. So they will put ster or whatever the steroids or uh, antibiotics to that. So which is actually effective that the doctor will yeah. prescribe to us and give it is applied sciences, correct. as you said. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. So she added up one more. So I actually forgot about it. She added. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, you know, so I what I feel is see, you all are working and, you know, it should be that kind of uh, relationship between us where we are. Speaking about different fields, spreading our knowledge about different fields so that the other person who don't know can gain. You will in, in, you will gain interest in these and you will try doing with those things. Okay, so and I personally feel in your entire three papers also, this micro paper is very, very easy and very interesting. But unfortunately, we are making, meeting online. If we meet offline, we can do wonders. In it. To try doing it as an offline, I suggest you. All right. Okay. So meet you in the next class. It's all be time up. You people have to take a break. So yeah. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Ma ma take care, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
so our next class is on saturday right yes yes it's on saturday okay okay yeah. thank you bye 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 saturday it is online or offline online no offline and from lab 13 it done on sunday or not but saturday is offline online and that is online, online. and online. from lab 13 how many experiments we have to write i think ma'am told 10 experiments no first 10 yeah uh, yes is first 10 but however ma'am also told she will share the readings and all okay i think it is from... not acha okay 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 so that means right, right now we are not supposed to start writing correct no, no, you can start writing in the theory portion ma'am okay. will send the readings which is to be written on the plain paper ah uh, observation and calculation that side only na no? got yeah. it got it sir mm-hmm. okay okay thank you very much sir thank you uh, tiru it was told sunday it is on off i mean offline right correct correct they told sunday they will try to do offline Uh, that uh, it's not a confirmed they will confirm next saturday so next saturday saturday will come to know the next day we need to come online or offline yeah because uh, they say that uh, some of the experiments has to be done offline also that's why i think we'll get uh, some mail from uh, hema ma'am also so we just have to wait for that uh, no no hema ma'am will not send any mail because already she has sent one email uh, email she- telling that full schedule uh, that, of classes ha uh, that we got it correct sir that we got it but for sunday actually as uh, a big question mark now what should we do now because hema ma'am uh, mail says that even uh, tomorrow or uh, after tomorrow everything we have also we have to go correct sir hmm. let's correct. hope that everything uh. completes in off- online only we don't have to go to <laughs> offline correct 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 sir we'll see now <laughs> we'll wait okay thank you sir Thank you, Mr. Tiru. Thank you, Mr. Tiru. Thank you, Mr. Tiru. Happy weekend, all.